Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, now today is Friday, it's Juma, it's also the 15th day of Ramadan. Uh, this video is going to be, um, I'm going to be making some buba, milky, a warm milky drink um, that we usually have on the 15th day of Ramadan. It's just to mark that it's the 15th and to celebrate that we are halfway through. Um, so I'm going to take you to the stove because we are going to be making this on the stove um, and I'll show you how I make mine. Now before we move to the stove, I'm just going to tell you um, the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I've got two liters of milk. I've got some idle milk. Now this is optional. Um, I've all, I'm also using some condensed milk. I'm going to be using the full um, can. You can do half a can or you can just sweeten it with normal sugar. Um, I've got some sago, I've got a half a cup, um, I've got some butter, some cardamom um, and cinnamon sticks, um, and then I have some rose water, some cinnamon of course, um, some vanilla and some vermicelli. So that's the ingredients that you're going to be needing to make um, this recipe. Also you can add some sultanas as well as some flaked almonds, um, but I choose not to add um, any of those. Okay, now everybody has their own version of how they make the booba. Um, now this is just how I've been making mine. Now, now the first thing I did was my half a cup of sago. I've just topped it with some cold water, so I'm just going to leave it just to swell out a bit. I'm going to turn my heat on. And then to my saucepan, I'm going to add about 80 grams of butter. And I'm just going to let my butter melt. So as you can see, my butter is starting to melt. Um, so I'm going to add about six cardamom pods. Now if you don't have cardamom pods, you can just add a half a teaspoon of fine cardamom. Um, and I'm going to add a few cinnamon sticks. Or of course you can add half a teaspoon of fine cinnamon. So once your butter is melted, um, I'm going to add my vermicelli, about one cup, or 250 moles. And I'm just going to allow the vermicelli to get a nice golden color. So once it has a nice golden color, um, you're going to add your milk. Some people add um, some water, but I just, I like the creaminess um, of the milk. And you're going to continuously stir it because you don't want your vermicelli to burn. Now I'm using butter but you can use margarine. Just as long as it's not um, a spread now 
as you can see it's starting to get a bit golden vermicelli and once it's this nice um, golden color you're just going to add your milk I just added my two liters of milk. So I'm just going to allow the vermicelli just to soften a bit. And before I add the rest of my ingredients. We'll just let it come to a boil. And you're going to try to continuously stir it um, because it will stick to the bottom of your pot. So once your milk has come to a boil, I'm just going to add your condensed milk or your sugar. I'm using the full tin, um, but you can do half. It depends on how sweet um, you want yours to be. And I'm just going to stir it in. Now, once you've add your full tin of condensed milk, um, if it's not sweet enough for you, um, you can add like a quarter cup um, of sugar or to your taste. Now it's a nice cold and wet day um, in Cape Town today. So this will be perfect um, at iftar time. Now for my optional ingredient um, is the evaporated milk. I use the full can, um, but like I said, it's totally optional. Now I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of rose water and once it comes to the boil again I'm going to add my sago um, and then I'm going to turn my heat down and just let it simmer until the sago is translucent. And once it's translucent, you know that your booba is done. Um, and at that time you can add some sultanas, like I said, or some flaked almonds. But my family prefers it without, so I'm not adding any 
home today. Okay, so we're just going to allow this to come to a boil um, before we add the Seiko. Okay, so my milk is starting to come to a boil. So now I'm just going to add my Seiko. This was a half a cup of Seiko and then I added a half a cup of cold water. Um, and then it just um, amounted to about one cup. So then you're just going to bring it um, to the boil again, turn down your heat um, and let it simmer just until your sago is translucent. Just try to give it a stir on and off um, as you don't want your pot to burn. So I'm just going to allow this to simmer um, until the sago is translucent. Okay guys, so my puppa is all done. As you can see, the sago is nice and translucent. Um, it's thickened up a bit. If you want yours to be a bit more thicker, um, like more like a pudding consistency, then you can just add a bit more sago to it. Um, but this is just the consistency that we like. Please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. And um, subscribe if you're new and if you haven't already. Click the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.